seen that makeup go? Yeah, oh, man. Of course I saw that makeup go. Good God, last touches. I'm so glad. Final touches. I would like to give her a final touch. I mean, just like a big smack. Oh. Clarence Clemens, the burly saxophone player who played a crucial role in the shaping of Bruce Springsteen's early sound, died June 18th, six days after suffering a stroke at his Florida home. He was 69, and the most famous member of the E Street Band, aside from Bruce Springsteen. Or Max Weinberg. Or Steve Van Zandt. Wasn't he in The Sopranos? Yes. What instrument did he play? He uh, played the 9mm. Hmm. Oh, on the Sopranos. Yeah, he would he would shoot people that had wronged Tony. He could make a symphony with that gun, huh? Yeah, hmm. he could. In his early years, uh, Clarence played sax in high school. He seemed destined for a pro football career. After a car wreck ruined his Cleveland Brown tryout, he decided God wanted him to do something else. I'm glad that God intervened with that one. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Playing for the Cleveland Browns, that's a fate worse than death. Really? It's yeah. Bruce Springsteen, Cleveland Browns. I mean, Springsteen's played more Super Bowls than the Browns have, I right? I believe you're right. Yeah, I know. I know I'm right. It says right here. Eventually, Clemens, a bit of a barroom rocker himself, heard about Springsteen on the New Jersey music scene and walked into one of his shows on a windy night. A gust of wind ripped the door from his hand and it flew down the street. The Windy Street. Ah, like the E Street Band. I get it. Because it was Bruce Springsteen. Is that where it came from? I'm pretty sure that's where it came from. Oh, wow. So that's what I wrote right here. Wow. Mm -hmm. must, be, must be gospel then, if you wrote it. Yeah. Well, God writes gospels. I'm not going to claim to be God today. That's right, because God told him to not go with the Cleveland Browns, like you said. That's right. All eyes turned toward Clemens, and Springsteen quickly agreed when Clemens asked if he could sit in with him. Clemens was also a literary buff. Hmm having written The Innocents Abroad and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. I, I believe that's uh, Samuel Clemens. I don't think so, Randy. That was Mark Twain. Hmm. Hmm. From then on, Clemens, a.k.a. the big man, became a charter member of the backing group that became known as the E Street Band. Clemens told Reuters in 2009, When I first walked on the stage and hit that first note, I saw things that was like happening today. Then I knew that what Springsteen was looking for, and, and, and I was what he was looking for to take the next big step to the big time, man. It's just love, man. Love at first sight is what that shit was. Man, that was really distasteful. It, what, what was that? I was... I was the big man. He, his spirit came up, like, a, came up in this shit. Sort of like Bill Cosby. What? Bill Cosby sounds more like this. If you have children, make sure you keep them away from the Nintendos and the DVDs and the Hulus because it'll cause the brain damage. That's that's more. That, that sounds more like Clarence Clemens to me. No, yeah. he's the writer. That's the guy that wrote uh, Huckleberry Finn. Mark Twain. Samuel Clemens. Rest in peace, big man. <laughs>